Welcome, students. COVID-19 has impacted everyone, and DePaul is no exception. Your health and safety are our highest priorities. We also know that some of you are eager to come to campus, while others of you prefer to stay home and participate in your classes from a distance. So this fall, we will be offering classes in a variety of ways, from traditional face-to-face -face classes on campus, with everyone observing recommended social distancing practices, all the way to classes that are entirely online with no on-campus meetings at all. As part of this, there will be some classes that bring Zoom technology into the classroom, allowing students on campus and online to participate together. This video will show you how these different modes of instruction will be represented in the Campus Connect class schedule. You can also find fuller descriptions of them on the Student Success website. Before we get started, we need to define three terms that will appear throughout this discussion. The first is synchronous, or sync for short. This means everyone participates in the class at the same specified days and times. Face-to-face -face classes have always been synchronous, but now online classes can be synchronous as well, typically enabled by a technology like Zoom. The second term is asynchronous or async. This means everyone participates in the class on their own schedule, accessing all course content through D2L. And finally, hybrid. This means the course includes both synchronous and asynchronous components. Some days you will meet with your classmates on a specified day and time, but you will access other features of the class on D2L anytime you want. Now that we understand these terms, you can look in Campus Connect to find the mode of instruction for each of your classes. Once you have identified the classes you would like to take, the main questions you need to ask about the individual class sections are, do I have to come to campus? Do I need to be in class at a particular time? And is there any additional information I need to know? For good old on-campus, face-to-face, and hybrid classes, you see the meeting dates and times in their respective columns. In the column labeled Room, you currently see the campus where the class will be offered or the assigned classroom. If your course does not yet have an assigned room, that information will be posted closer to the start of the term. Keep in mind that a hybrid class will have fewer hours devoted to face-to-face -face instruction because the rest of the course content will happen online. Fully online classes will also have new options. All of these classes have descriptions in the room column that begin with online. This is a signal for you that for all of these classes, the answer to the question, do I have to come to campus, is no. For an online asynchronous class, the answer to the second question, do I have to be in class at a particular time, is also no. You'll see both the day and time column are left unspecified, and the room column tells you the type of class is online async. What about an online class that meets at specified times on Zoom? For these classes, the answer to the question, do I have to be in class at a particular time, is yes, since the class meets synchronously. In Campus Connect, the course listing will include specified days and times, and the room column will indicate online sync. Finally, some classes may be fully online, but meet on Zoom for only part of the time while the rest of the course learning activities are in D2L. For these classes, you still have to be available at specified times, but those times will be less than in a fully synchronous class. In Campus Connect, the course listing will once again include the specified days and times you are expected to be available, and the room column will say online hybrid. This fall, we are also adding new options that allow us to combine face-to-face -face classes with synchronous online classes. In these classes, some students will come to campus while others will participate in the same class online. 
If one of your classes meets this way, then you will see a given section of a class divided into two or three component parts. As an example, let's consider the listing for course section A. This class meets twice each week. On Tuesdays, this group of students meets face-to-face -face in Lincoln Park from 4.20 p.m. to 6.20 p.m. On Thursdays, the same group of students will meet online at the same time. So let's answer our three questions. Do I have to come to campus? Yes, on Tuesdays I have to come to campus. The room column shows TBA in Lincoln Park, or LPC. Whereas on Thursdays, I do not have to come to campus. My class is online. Do I have to be in class at a particular time? Yes, for both Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have to be available for class from 4.20 to 6.20 p.m. So this class is synchronous. And lastly, is there any additional information I need to know? Yes, this Thursday online class is linked to a class taking place on campus. So in the room column for the Thursday class, you will see online sync classroom link. Section B of this same class reverses the pattern. On Thursdays, this group meets face-to-face -face in Lincoln Park. And on Tuesdays, this group meets synchronously online from 4.20 p.m. to 6.20 p.m. Section C of this same class is for students who would like to take the class fully online and not come to campus. For them, the answers to the questions are a bit different, so let's go through them. For a student in Section C, do I have to come to campus? No, I will always participate in this class online. Do I have to be in class at a particular time? Yes, for both Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have to be available for class from 4.20 to 6.20 p.m. This class is synchronous. And finally, is there any additional information I need to know? This class is also linked to a class taking place on campus. So again, in the room column for section C, you will see online sync classroom link. We understand these new modes of instruction may be confusing at first, just remember these three questions and look for their answers in the day, time, and room columns for each class. Have a wonderful academic term, whether you're on campus, online, or a little of both. Thank you.